Welcome to IT Revision Hub. Today I am going to show you how to connect two EX series switches together to form one unit and manage the unit as a single chassis called a virtual chassis. The virtual chassis system offers you adds as you grow flexibility. A virtual chassis can start with two switches and grow based on your needs to as many as 10 interconnected switches. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please press the subscribe button below and press the bell icon in order to get the notification of my latest videos. Now we'll log into the first switch. And we'll configure a root password for the switch. We'll go to the edit mode and configure the password. And we'll provide a password and retype the new password again. Also, we need to delete chassis auto image upgrade using delete chassis auto upgrade command. Now we'll set a host name for this Juniper device as the primary switch. primary or the master switch. Now we will commit the configuration. Now we'll check the version of the switch. When when creating virtual chassis, we need to have same uh, Juno's version for both switches. Also, we'll use chassis hardware command and get the serial number of the switch. Split and merge detection feature is enabled by default. If you have only two members in your virtual chassis, we strongly recommend that you configure no split detection to disable the split and merge features. Therefore, we we'll issue no split detection. Before that, we used pre-provision command set virtual chassis pre-provision command that is to link the serial number of each member switch to specified member id and role now we'll provide the member id configuration set virtual chassis member 0 and we'll uh, give the serial number of this switch and the role as the routing engine. Here we are configuring two EX2300 switches. Now we have configured the member zero switch. Next we need to add member one switch as the other member in the uh, virtual chassis. So we need to log into that switch now. This is the second switch. Here also we need to configure a root password for the switch and also we need to delete 
the auto image upgrade command from the switch otherwise uh, it it will um, prompt a message to update the image of the juniper device now we'll delete the chassis auto image upgrade also we'll give a host name as the backup now we'll check the configuration change using show compare method and we'll commit the configuration version of this switch here we can you can see both switches has the same Juno's version also we'll check the serial number of this switch for that we need to run the show chassis hardware command this is the serial number of that switch of the second switch now we'll copy the serial number in order to configure the virtual chassis member one now i have connected to the master switch again and I am going to configure the virtual chassis member 1 and serial number we need to paste which I have taken from the second switch also here for all we provide route engine as the role now we will commit the configuration Here still there is only one member in the virtual chassis. Now what we have to do is we need to enable VC ports. We need to enable VC ports in order to create the. We can use the show virtual chassis command to check the active virtual chassis now we'll use show virtual chassis vc port command to check the vc ports already configured now we'll enable the vc ports for that we use request virtual chassis vc port set command to configure PC VC ports here we use pixlot1 because the pixlot1 is the SFE plus ports slot here you can see the EX2300 14 pick one is the SFP plus ports Now we'll configure the other port that is port 1. Earlier we configured port 0 as the VC port. VC port set pick slot 1 and the 
VC port is 1 and the port is 1. Now we'll use show virtual chassis VC port command to check the configured VC ports. Here you can see configured but absent. That means we have not connected the DAC cable for these two ports. Now we'll go to the backup switch and check the virtual chassis and also the VC ports. There's no VC ports configured in the backup switch. Now we'll configure the VC ports for the backup switch. Before that, we'll configure no split detection in the virtual chassis. We'll commit the configuration of no split detection command. Now we'll exit the configuration mode and will configure the VC ports. Here the pick slot 1 is the SFP plus port as the previous switch. First we'll use the request virtual chassis VC port set pick slot 1 port 0 and will configure two ports as the master switch. Here you can see VC ports are configured but absent. Now we'll connect the DAC cables. Here you can see the stack is coming up. Now we are asked to provide the username and password. Login to master. That means we, we were at the backup switch. Now the system is going to log into master. will provide the username as root and the password. Now we will see the VC ports in each switch. FPC 0 is the master and the FPC 1 is the backup switch. Now you can see the status of the ports are up. This is the virtual chassis with master member ID 0 and member 1. Now we can use show interface test command to list the all ports in the virtual chassis cluster. Here GE 0 slash 0 slash 47 and GE 1 slash 0 slash 47 are two ports in the 
Local Justice Cluster. Now we'll go to edit and configure the commit synchronize command. Commit synchronize command is used to configure commit synchronize command in multiple routing engines only. Configure the commit command to automatically perform a commit synchronize action between dual routing engines within the same chassis. So now we have configured the commit synchronize command. Now we'll configure the set chassis redundancy graceful switchover command. To configure a primary routing engine to switch over gracefully to a backup routing engine without interruption to the packet forwarding. Since we are using two devices, we use set chassis aggregated devices Ethernet device count to 2. We need to set up, set up this command in order to create port channels or the aggregated Ethernet interfaces in this switch cluster. I think now you have a thorough idea of creating a virtual chassis using Juniper 2EX2300 switches. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.